Hello, my name's uh, Charlie Barnhart with Charlie Barnhart & Associates. We're a consultancy who specializes in the intersection between the producers and consumers of outsourcing services globally. And what we're doing today is we've invited one of our friends, Susie McGowan, from Erase Poverty to uh, fill you in a little bit, fill you in a, a little bit about what we're doing uh, to try to make a difference uh, globally uh, with what we perceive to be a serious problem about worker exploitation, about the disadvantaged, and about the third world, not only here uh, in the United States, but also you know around the world, about opportunities and how we can bring people to the art and practice of business to really make a difference in lives. So I'm going to ask Susie here just to just fill us in, just give us a little overview about what Erase Poverty is all about, and then she's going to invite us to uh, become engaged with this activity and uh, I'm going to bring my partners in and we're going to sign this big eraser that you may or may not be able to see at this point. But uh, <laughs> Susie, with that, would you like to go ahead and tell us about it? Okay. Um, well, Erase Poverty is a microfinance organization whose goal is to actually erase extreme poverty in the world. So the connection with you, Charlie, is that uh, we're very concerned with human exploitation and in fact that's how Erase Poverty started. Um, Joanna Wasmuth, who's the CEO and founder of Erase Poverty, became aware of human exploitation in a neighborhood she was living in about 10 years ago. And as she researched it more, um, realized that economic development is the key to ending human exploitation. Um, giving people the opportunity to create an economic environment for themselves, to become self-reliant, and through a race poverty, which um, I don't know how much you, you know you're familiar with microfinance, but basically it's small loans that are given to micro entrepreneurs to enable them to further their business and to provide for their families. Um, the studies show that for each loan that is given, it affects 10 people, and. Um, whether the exploitation is a work environment or it could be um, something as awful as uh, sex trafficking. When people are able to provide for their families, they're in a less vulnerable position. So um, through becoming a member of a race poverty, you have access to um, large microfinance organizations that are already in place. It's an easy way for small businesses to contribute to um, and be key to this goal that's actually part of the UN Millennial Development Goals. Um, the first goal of those Millennial Goals for the UN is to half uh, extreme poverty in the world by 2015 and they see microfinance as the key. Mm -hmm. So it's um, my Erase Poverty was developed for small businesses particular. Um, Joanna Wasmuth, she saw the need for small businesses to have an easy way to contribute and to grow other small businesses, whether it's here in the U.S., which we are here, and around the world. We're in 20 countries around the world right now. Very cool. Very cool. So this is, you know, as you know, you know, Charlie Barnes Associates and my partners who you'll meet again here in a few mm -hmm. seconds, we are a small business, but we, we write about this situation, we write about worker exploitation, you know, we try to evangelize uh, you know, rational uh, manufacturing practices around the world where workers are not exploited, where they're given opportunity to advance socially and economically, and so we want to do something, because we're a do-something company. Yeah. That's what we do, right? And so we're excited about this, and you know we want to we want to participate in this program with you. And so, you know, I know that uh, I've talked to Joanne, and we're uh, we want to move forward. We want to we want to show the industry it's not just about going out and auditing to see whether or not workers are being exploited. We want to change the paradigm. We want to make the situation better. And if it only affects one person, you know, th that's a start for us. And so, thank you so much for this opportunity, and we really appreciate it. And, and we'd like to... Uh, we're happy to we, be a part. We're we'd happy like to, to be a member. Yeah, we'd like to put our signatures on this and, and show this as an act of our demonstration for a commitment to support your program. Well, I would love to have you sign our giant eraser. Okay. <laughs> and um, pledge to be part of the movement to erase poverty. Excellent. And um, other small businesses, too, can go to erasepoverty.org and join. It's an it's a easy way to do good and to do something now. So I'd like to uh, bring in 
uh, my partners, Eric Miskerl and Jennifer Reed, uh, because they would also like to sign along with us. So, so the uh, her organization is committed to this. And so what's the, pr the process here? We just, just sign our names, huh? Signing your name shows that you are pledging to be part of the movement to erase poverty in the world. Okay, can I sign this big open space right here? You can right sign here? wherever you like, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just do it right here. There's mine. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate Thank you. it. Looking forward to this. We're happy to have you as members. Thank you, Thank Thank you. you Eric.